Okay, so about a year ago I did a video about trapping house sparrows and other invasive birds by using a couple of the different um, traps. Uh, one, my big homemade sparrow trap, and then two, the, the snap trap, which I didn't like. Um, it's non-selective and if another bird were to, you know, get into it, it might have killed a native bird. So I haven't used that one since. But in this video, I'm going to try two new uh, traps. I have a Van Ert trap, which is uh, a simple purchase on Amazon that I got for about 20 bucks. You simply uh, screw it into a birdhouse, and then as soon as a house sparrow kind of takes over, um, it'll trip the trigger and it'll cover the hole of the, of the birdhouse, uh, trapping the bird inside. So I'm going to put that on my birdhouse. Um, I read online that if you, uh, a lot of the time, if you cover the orange that goes over the indicator that it's been triggered, uh, it kind of, you know, helps because they see when they poke their head and they see that bright orange, they don't tend to go into the birdhouse. So I'm going to put some electrical tape over that. And I also have just a simple live vermin trap. This is a live rat trap and I got the one with the sensitive trigger. Um, so simply just set it like that and we're gonna see how these two traps do in this video. So last time I compared two different traps, this time I'm comparing another two different traps. So let's see how they do. It didn't take the birds long to find the bait and start going in and out of the trap. Sparrows, like most birds, are curious, so they investigated the new thing in their environment. But they were pretty cautious. Eventually, they became more comfortable with it. And eventually, this female ventured in far enough to trigger it. Then a few more. Alright, so you can definitely see that the rat trap does work really well, but getting them out is uh, kind of a pain. I've already lost two because they can get past the meat. I need to think, ah, oh, there, yep, see, there goes one. I need to figure out a better way to get them out of here. All right, so what we have here is a female house sparrow. Got that band behind the eye here. Very light brown chest, breastplate, or not breastplate, but breast. Light brown, wings. Kind of that lighter color here dark brown. The males will have a distinct, hopefully I'll catch a male for you guys, a distinct black chin strap right here. Also that band. So it's very important to properly identify house sparrows before you know doing anything with them uh, because like around here I have tree sparrows, I have uh, Harris's sparrows, I have all, all, there are all kinds of different kinds of sparrows around here and if you've ever read a, any kind of field guide you can see a lot of different species of sparrows depending on where you are but all of our na native sparrows are going to have more of a sparrow beak notice how ho uh, house sparrows their beaks are a lot more robust they're more like a finch beak than a, a sparrow beak so, well I'm going to reset the trap and I'm going to take care of this little one. Alright, setting this one is pretty easy. Take your bar here. This is just a simple rat trap, live rat trap. That has a, I looked for the one that had this sensitive trigger. So you open your bar here, 
get that lever bar all the way down and then you a little loop there right in there like that and it's set just like that put it back on the bait and we're ready to go now I do want to always say I always say when I'm dealing with invasive species I don't like killing animals just for the killing of the animal uh, these are invasive species they are species that kind of outcompete our native species especially our bluebirds house sparrows and starlings especially are cavity nesting birds they've been reported to even killing bluebirds and other cavity nesting native cavity nesting birds and building a nest right over the dead parents of the and raising their young over the dead of the native species they outcompete our native species for other resources for food if you run a bird feeder, you know that house sparrows, starlings, um, can quickly overtake the house or the the feeding stations. So I really don't like just dispatching uh, these animals for no reason. There is a reason. I am protecting our native species. I'm protecting uh, our ecological balance, and they don't go to waste. I don't waste them. I have another video on here about what I do with them. Um, if you would like to see that video, I, I've made them into dog treats, I've buried them in my garden, I donate them to a local wildlife rehabber for uh, food for raptors, injured uh, birds of prey like e or eagles, hawks, owls, stuff like that. They use them to feed those until they're better. Um, so these bird, the invasive species that I dispatch, they don't go to waste. Um, I don't kill just to kill. So, all right. Got my trap set, some old bread, bird seed. I missed the female. female got out <laughs> but this is the little male male house sparrow <laughs> and he is a feisty one very feisty all right you can see him fighting back here all right so this is the male house sparrow you can see the distinct brown shape on their on their head here in their black chin strap <laughs> You little. <laughs> yeah, you're a strong one. All right. But, you're going to let me show you here to make sure to identify proper species of sparrows. Like I said earlier with the female, that we have a lot of different kinds of sparrows in our area and especially your area you need to uh, familiarize yourself with different species of sparrows and make sure that what you are trapping and what you're dispatching is in fact a European house sparrow um, so these guys with the mask distinct mask here by the eyes the brown look down the gray on top of his head there the white and the wings, the white bar and the wing. So that right there is the male, adult male, European house sparrow. Oh, and one other thing. See if he'll not bite me here. The beak. You can definitely tell the beak it looks more like a finch. It's really that dark, dark coloration of the, the beak there, the mask. The finch-like beak, um, the thicker beak for seeds, where our sparrows, I'll throw a graphic here to show the beaks of our own sparrows, but that one is definitely quite a bit thicker. So again, just be sure what you're trapping and what you're dispatching in your neighborhood is in fact a, a, an invasive species, um, European house sparrow, European starling. Um, 
So, and I will do a video on starlings coming up if I ever catch one. Anyway, there is the male. Okay, so something has triggered, and they're in there, triggered the Van Ert trap. Um, the other day I had to get a wasp out of there, so hopefully it's not a wasp again. So, what I had to do, bring in close, my birdhouse actually has a gap up here that they kept escaping out of. So what I did is just put a little bit of this uh, wire mesh on it um, to keep them from going out that hole. So that's something that I have to take down every time. So we'll see what we have. Dang it. Well, they got out. It was a little male. Um, little male house sparrow. I saw him. As the, so, and to reset it. To to reset the Van Ert trap. It's just as easy as that. Set it up. Put my wire mesh over the hole and it's reset. So, well, he got away that time. Um, but it usually is the males in the Vanert traps because they're the ones establishing the nesting territories. Uh, they'll investigate a nesting territory and try to entice a female in to the, uh, that territory. Um, kind of like, hey ladies, look at the nesting box that I found kind of situation. So it usually is the males that you find in Vanert traps. Um, so hopefully I reset it. Hopefully by the time I make this uh, video, uh, we'll get another one so I can see, or so you can see that it does actually work. All right, it's the day after that little male escaped me. So this time I'm gonna try to use my, the bag that I use to relocate snakes because something else has triggered yep and it looked like a little house sparrow I couldn't tell what it was but something else has triggered the Van Ert trap so I don't know I've never done this with a bag before here not sure how I'm gonna do this here it's easier to check these at night with a headlamp on because Oh, there she got out. Look, that, look, see that little hole at the top? She got out in there. There, she's in its, I don't know, whatever it is, is in the bag. Okay. Let's see. The bag worked. Oh, yep, little female. This might have been the female that he was enticing to come in. And I might have just missed him, but again, you can tell little female house sparrow. Careful. Little band behind the eyes, the brown, little markings on the wing there. No striations on the chest. A lot of our native sparrows around here have striations on the chest here. So that is a robust very robust beak there so that is a female house sparrow i do want to make a side point that if you do donate them to a local wildlife rehabber to help injured birds of prey or injured wildlife um, i generally freeze them that way if there's any parasites or you know mites on them that freezing will then kill off those parasites and then you don't add the stress or give the injured wildlife a, another thing to be stressed about. So, well I hope this video has helped and if it has I appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already if you would like to learn more about invasive species and local wildlife. Um, but until then, plant native and drink local.